Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's his next move? Let's find out in the charts here, shall we? Well, we have witnessed Bitcoin pump and now it's coming back down heavy back into the Bollinger Band. And does this mean we're collapsing into death? We're going to talk about that and more in this episode. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying live here in Dubai. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for hitting the like. Thank you for hitting the subscribe. I really appreciate y'all out there. Now, one thing, right? Just so you know, my real name is Da Vinci. So a lot of people call me Jeremy and yeah, they just don't know that Da Vinci is my real name. Yes, it is a, not a handle. It is my real name, Da Vinci. Alrighty, so today we're going to figure out what to do here. Uh, is, should I, should I buy? Should I go long? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of scary. It looks like it's going to die. Well, the market is about, you know, about taking, uh, making you fearful, right? When you have to take a trade, right? That's what it's all about, especially in this time frame where we are in a, in a bearish kind of mode here with Bitcoin and it's going to be a sideways choppy action for Bitcoin and Ethereum and for crypto where there is no like constant up, 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 up all the time. Yes, there's going to be ups and downs in the next few years uh, before we see the next bull market. And that's just the way it is. So we have to trade within that, those parameters and do our best to do our trades in those parameters. So. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's get on to the to the trade for the day. And remember, you can trade this at bybit.davinciej15.com or at femex.davinciej15.com. Head over there. Links are in the description below. Thank you for signing up. Okay. Um, as you can see, this looks like you know almost like a bear trap or a failed move because fast move in the opposite direction is not really that a fast move in the opposite direction. We're just uh, uh, breaking out here. So, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the, the daily consolidates, right? We'll see with the, um, the 13 EMA and then continues, uh, higher. So, so, uh, be, don't be surprised with that. Now, if we zoom down, we zoom out, you can see when in doubt, zoom out that the 200 period moving average hasn't been touched since, let's go back, May. Man, oh, sorry, March 20, uh, 2022, March 29, 2022. And we haven't been above the 200 period moving average since December. So it stands to reason that we have to look at the 200 daily moving average um, uh, sometime soon, right? Uh, sometime even this year that we see the 200 daily moving average at least come to it, right? Price comes to it. And then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll trade from there as well because it could short, it should could drop from the 200 period moving average. But I think it'll probably break above it for a little while before we see we come back to it and come back down below it again. So um, it's been too long for the 200 period moving average. So that means we were, we should see it come to look at it. If not, look at it. If uh, just uh, touch it and come back or break above it. So I, I really think that that is the goal for Bitcoin in this this breakout, this beginning of this breakout. The breakout is taking the um, long route. And you can tell because you can see Ethereum has doing a lot better with uh, when it comes to its breakdown. It has, although it's um, it's broken down, it hasn't broken down as much as Bitcoin has. And um, we're going to talk about that shortly. Okay, let's. Um, Zoom in and find where the trade is. Uh, you can see that. Um, uh, let's go down to the four hour. I'm um, sure we're broken below the 13 AMA on the four hour. That's a big coin, right? All right. So we've broken below the 13 AMA. Um, I would have expected it to at least, like, you know, roll above it a little bit and then continue higher. Uh, like touch it here and then go higher, but it didn't because you know you can see that's uh, that's the top of the um, the this uh, next breakout level here, and it didn't do it. And you can see the the top of this next breakout because it's right here. You see that right? That this is the top here, 
So they match up with the 13 EMA and then, uh, really? Did you have to do that? That's horrible. Anyways, <laughs> the Bitcoin did that anyhow. So um, what do you do now? So we have to look for some, we are still bullish here. Uh, we just have to look for um, opportunities to jump in on the trade. Um, is there any kind of W pattern here? Not yet. Um, let's just to look for a trade location. Um, maybe we are at the 61.8 um, because you know what? This is critical. We could come back to the 61.8. I would say that this is this, um, that, that particular um, low is probably the, not the right one. And I, there you go. See, that makes more sense. Where that we are like headed, destined to retest the um, 19, nine, 940 dollar level. Why is that? Why is that critical? Well, why is that critical? 19, 940. Well, um, that's the first indication of the breakout, right? So we are, uh, we're probably just retesting that right there. You see, and boom, we once we broke above, we even came back and back tested it once before, right? So almost right, and you can see it's back tested right here. Um, and uh, at the uh, the almost a 20k, and then we just went a little bit higher, all the way to 21k, and then now we're coming back. So this is where you can see that um, you know what it's okay to set some some buy op buying opportunities. Uh, let's just make this zoom in uh, here. Auto buying opportunities at the either below this wick or below the, the, the this wick where the which let me just give you the numbers here so that you guys if you're just listening um, to this channel um, right here but at this wick is a twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand one dollar you could do it just go slightly below that I mean 20 to just like twenty thousand uh, or nineteen thousand nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five right something like that and then see if you could get some luck to add add to your trade. Um, but the um, I would say below that this wick, which is at uh, night twenty thousand one hundred and sixteen dollars, is where you're looking to enter your trade for a long. Okay, looking at Ethereum, Ethereum is um, well, um, it is coming back down all right it's uh on the daily you can see that it's getting back into the the um, bollinger band but there's plenty of power here um there's lots of room for this to rise yes we've uh, come to the 61.8 of this whole reversal and so yes it has to reverse back a little bit and see where it wants to, to to um start the new trend but it's definitely going higher you can see that we could go all the way back down to 61.8. That's um, close to the um, the breakout, but really at the 78.6. Um, uh, yeah, that's right down here, actually. It's a white one. The 78.6 happens to be, wow, the candle body breakout of the W. So it could go as low as that, but I doubt it. Uh, I think we're going to stay, the daily is going to stay above the 13 EMA on, a, on Ethereum and continue its uh, rocket ship ride up to the very least the, the 200 period moving average, which happens to be where? Oh, that's right, at $1,700, $1,700. So like I've said, that is the target for Ethereum. Not surprising there at all, at all, because let's just, just remove some of the, um, the drawing tools here and zoom out because I bet you we haven't seen a 200 period moving average for a very long, long time. Well, actually we did touch it. We did look at it um, back in April um, and we were above it back in January. So um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we come above, we break above it, not only to look at it, but break above it um, in this next run up here. Uh, but to be on the safe side, you, you know, you take it, you might want to take some profits off the table at the 200 period moving average once we get there. Okay. That's it for today, right? Remember to, to head over to buybit.davinciej15.com. I've noticed that on a Brave browser, that it has, it's having some problems on certain computers. Um, I, I think, uh, 
I think something's wrong because people, I've did this on Google search and I haven't been able to find a solution. It's really, really slow on the Brave browser, but it works fine on the, the, um, the what's it called? Um, Chrome browser. And you can see my um, long right there, just waiting there, just below the, the last wick. So I'm looking to, to see if I can get into a position there uh, at the low, at the, at the lows here. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all you guys. Um, remember, right? The easiest thing to do is just to buy Bitcoin and hold it. Uh, trading is, you know, uh, a stressful job. It's, and I appreciate you guys coming out and watching. Make sure you come over and watch some of my one minute with Vinci J15. I'm planning to move into the education uh, sector of, uh, uh, of Bitcoin and crypto because um, as much as I like trading, I think I, I prefer to uh, educate everybody on what Bitcoin is, what it can do for everybody, what it can do for humanity and how best to use it and how best to, to save and make money in Bitcoin. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Remember, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it. Cheers.